Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining me on another video. Well, we have completed yet another week, so of course I'm here to bring you guys another cash envelope stuffing. We will be dealing with all of the income I was able to earn from my side income. So if you're interested in seeing how much that was and what I'll be putting towards my savings and my death snowball, then just keep on watching. All right, so as I just said, today's video was all about my side income. My side income includes my Etsy shop where I sell my cash envelopes and my digital downloads, any money that I was able to earn from DoorDash, and any money that I was able to earn from Uber. If you are new to this channel, here I talk all things budgeting and I am really trying to learn how to manage my money and also eliminate my debt as fast as possible. So if you are interested in seeing how I budget, how I use the cash envelope system, and how I'm eliminating my debt with the debt snowball, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, join the family, I would love to have you, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload a new video. But enough of the chit chat, let's go ahead and get started with my budget. All right, so we're gonna get started with opening up my notebook and going to my page where I hand write my budget breakdown. So looking at my notebook and my budget, we see that I was able to earn this money on July 26th. And then I have my three income sources listed. So I will just go ahead and fill in the amounts and fill out everything else. So we tell our money exactly where to go. So first starting off with my Etsy, this number that I write down on my notebook is always considered my take home pay from my business. So I have already taken out my taxes and I have already put money back into the business. So for take home pay within Etsy this week, I was able to bring in $90. As always, I appreciate anybody that comes and supports my shop. So I'm always gonna take the time to say thank you all so much because I really do appreciate you guys and it's just never unnoticed the amount of support that you guys show. So thank you so, so much. So following my Etsy, we have my DoorDash. So with DoorDash and Uber this week, I was trying to do something a little bit different. I normally only use these two platforms on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but since the weeks have been a little bit slow, I was trying to test out and see if during the week I was actually able to earn a little bit more money as opposed to when I just go out on the three days. So I did go out a little bit more during the week and I mean, I made a little bit more money, but not enough to the point where I'm gonna go out every weekday. So I'm just testing out my theory, trying to see what's going on with the app and earn as much as I can. So within DoorDash this week, I was able to bring in $127. This is the most money I've been able to bring in for DoorDash for a while. So I'm grateful for that. And following DoorDash for my Uber for the week, I brought in $147. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and add up all three of my incomes and see how much I earned for the week. So 90 plus 127 plus 147, that gives me $364. All right, so now we'll get into my taxes and taxes will be coming out of my DoorDash and my Uber income. So if we do the 127 from DoorDash plus the 147 from Uber, we get $274. And I do my taxes based off of 30%. So with that being said, that means $82 will be going directly towards my taxes. So to get my official remaining number, we will do 364 minus our 82 for our taxes, giving us $282 to work with. All right, so now we get into my expenses, my sinking funds, my savings, and my debt snowball so we can figure out how much money these things will be getting. So for expenses for my gas, that gets the normal $30 for the next week. So minus 30. And then we move into my sinking funds. So first sinking fund is annual pay, and that will be getting $20 minus 20. 
car maintenance is going to get $50 minus 50. Christmas is going to get 20. Gifts will be getting $10 minus 10. Medical is going to get five. And vacation is going to get 20 minus 20. So there we go. Now we can get into my savings. So for savings, we will be doing $50 minus 50. And that leaves us with $77. And that 77 is going to go straight towards my debt snowball. So minus 77, that gives a zero, giving me a zero based budget. All right, so it's as simple as that, not complicated at all, just an easy breakdown telling your money exactly where to go. And now that you know where your money is going, you can go and head to the bank, get the cash, and tell your tellers exactly how you want your denominations. And then when I return from doing that, we will get started with stuffing the cash envelopes. All right, everyone, so I am back from the bank and I got the cash right here in our envelope. So let's go ahead and take this out. They did write on it again. It says, enjoy your day. It's just little small things that make me happy. But now that we got the cash, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it out in front of us and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. All right, so we are all set and ready to go. The money is up at the top. We have our notebook so everyone can follow along, but most importantly, so I do not mess up. And then over here, we have my binder for my cash envelopes. Going in order of the notebook, the first thing that I have is my taxes. So my taxes is kept in the back of my notebook. And we said from this paycheck, it shall be getting $82. So we can do a 50, a 20, a 10, and two singles. That should give us 82, 50, 70, 80, 81, 82. All right, so let's go ahead and add that towards my taxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all in here. I did get a question on the last video of my taxes and what this consists of. So this is taxes as you guys see me stuff every week from all of my DoorDash, from all of my Uber. This is also the taxes I get from my Etsy. Anything that I need to be taxed upon, it's all within this envelope. And then I deposit this at the end of every month. And then once I owe my taxes in April, if I owe anything, this is where I will be getting the money from. So my hope is that I do not have to pay back all of the money that I am putting aside and if I do have anything left over that will be for me and I can figure out what to do with but I'd rather be safe than sorry so I just put away 30% of anything that I make. But now let's just go ahead and count how much I have within my taxes and I'm just going to move the notebook to the side for a second just so I have some space. So that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and I'm gonna add a 10 to make that another 100. All right, so that's 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, another 100. So that's, what's that, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, 700. And then we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Okay, so that was $771 that I have within my taxes. All right, so let's go ahead and get this back in the envelope. There we go. So the next thing that I have up is gas and gas. I keep that within my little mini envelope. So gas is getting 30. So that will be a 20 and a 10 giving us 30. Just fold that up 
and go ahead and add that right into my gas envelope. So there we go, gas is set. So now we can bring back my binder and get into my sinking funds. So apartment, my apartment is actually going to be used soon. My lease ends in October and I do have to give my place a 60 day notice. So that means I will be start looking for my apartments next month. So I do anticipate uh, starting to use this fund. I may add a little bit more money. I'm not entirely sure, but that's the update and the status on my apartment envelope. So today we will be putting $20 into my annual payments. So we can do a $20 bill. And if we add 20, that now puts this envelope at 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So $190 is within annual payments. Up next it is car maintenance. Car maintenance is getting $50. So I will be adding another 50. And the reason that I just wanna keep funding my car maintenance and stack it as much as I can, if you have been with me for a while, basically from the beginning when I started my channel, I was the queen of car issues. It always popped up, it always threw me off guard. So I just wanna fund my car maintenance fund as much as I can, just in case anything happens with my car. So now adding our $50, my car maintenance is at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 20, 45. So $745 is now within my car maintenance fund. All right, after car maintenance, it is Christmas. Christmas is going to get $20. And Christmas is my favorite holiday. I can't wait for it to get here, but I also need to save up for it because I refuse to put myself into debt this year. I will not be putting anything on a credit card and whatever I have in this envelope, that's what people are gonna have to get from me. It's gonna be Christmas that I can't afford, not a Christmas with me overdoing it. And a really good question that I got within my last video was, does this Christmas include just gifts or does it include decorations? Does it include food for cooking and preparing for the holiday? So for me, I am only funding with actual gifts I will be giving to people and as well as like the gift wrapping and the paper bags and stuff that the gifts will come in. So that's all I'm saving for. I have enough decorations last year. I went all out for my apartment. So I have all of the Christmas decorations and I do not cook at my house for Christmas. I go to my grandmother's house. So I don't have to save up for any food, thankfully. But that is a good idea. If that is something that you do within your family and you're the hostess and everything, I would highly recommend you also trying to save up for that as well, because that might be something that, you know, we might forget about. So now within Christmas, I have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 400 and $70 is now within my Christmas. All right, up next it is gifts. Gifts is going to get $10. And once we add gifts, that will put me at 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So $84 within my gifts. Up next after gifts, it is medical. Medical is going to get $5. So we will do this $5 bill. And once we add that, that will put me at 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So $274 is now within my medical. And when I do my sinking funds update, I will definitely be doing a bill swap because I can see that my envelopes are just getting a little bit thick. So I know you guys really enjoy that and 
Sometimes I don't have time to do it, but I will be doing that in my next Sinking Fun update. All right, so up next it is Vacation. Vacation is going to get $20. So once we add 20, let's see what we have for Vacation. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. So $585 within vacation. We are creeping up on the $600 mark. So that is exciting. And now after vacation, we have my savings. So savings will be getting $50. And this is the last week for my side income for the month of July. And we know that my savings goal was $340 for the month. So I have not reached that goal yet, but we have that wonderful last paycheck that is coming for the month of July, which is my magic month. And I will be using that paycheck to cover the rest to put me at my goal for the month. So let's go ahead and add our 50. So we do have $1,000 for our placeholder, meaning that $1,000 is within the bank for our savings. But within actual cash, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 91, 92. So we have $1,892 within our savings. We are almost at 2,000, so that is just so satisfying. All right. So the last thing up is our debt snowball and that should be getting $77. So let's hope that that is what I have left. And we have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77. So yes, that is great. And we will add this towards my debt snowball payment for the month. This is also one more thing that will be getting benefited from that last paycheck. I'm gonna try and put a good portion towards my debt snowball because we already know that I am trying to knock down student loan number six before September hits. But let's go ahead and get a count so far and see what I have saved up for my debt snowball. So that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and we're going to add another 10 to make that 600 and then we have 20 40 60 70 80 85 90 95 100 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 700 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so so far i have saved up 700 and eight dollars to put towards a debt snowball payment which is amazing and we will see how much we can do for a final payment at the end of july but for now we'll go ahead and put that right back in our debt snowball envelope and all of our money has now been put away so that is that you guys all right, so there you have it, guys. That is how I'm going to wrap up my final budget for my side income for the month of July. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you guys are enjoying and learning with me as we go on this journey together. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a comment down below so that we can talk and chat because you know I love talking with you all. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with someone else that you might think benefit from it. And if you made it all the way to the end so far and you have not yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family so you do not miss where I go next. But as of today, guys, that's all I have for you all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.